Hey, what's up guys? Harry here. Uh, it's been a while. What's going on? Um, today, I just want to talk a little bit about what I currently believe to be the best beginner cybersecurity certification out right now. It is uh, ISC's, I believe, newest certification, or at least it was last year when I first took it. Um, but that is going to be the uh, ISC squared certified in cybersecurity certification, their CC cert. Um, this is a certification that I took last year uh, to help me gain entry into Western Governors University. I said like two months ago, maybe even three months ago now that I was going to make a video on it um, and I never got around to. And uh, I've got a little free time today, so I figured why not? Um, but yeah, we're not going to go into like crazy details about it, um, but I will talk a little bit about kind of what it is, what it covers, and why I do think it is the best beginning certification for cybersecurity and one of the best beginning certifications for IT. So first off, uh, what is the Certified in Cybersecurity Certification? So the easiest way to explain it is it is a foundational knowledge cert, very similar to how the CompTIA A plus deals with uh, like kind of generalized IT material. Um, it does that, but for cybersecurity. So rather than go into like great amounts of depth on a lot of the kind of subgenres within cybersecurity, what it's really going to do is teach you the absolute basics and how to define and recognize them as you're beginning to start uh, a more in-depth education into cybersecurity. So for reference, some of the areas that it covers, are uh, it's gonna consist of network security, risk management, security operations, um, stuff like that. Uh, it is gonna touch a little bit as well on the kind of GRC, governmental risk and compliance stuff. Um, it, it's essentially designed to take somebody who has no experience in tech whatsoever, much less IT and cyber, and get them to a point where they feel comfortable being able to recognize and describe the different foundational areas of cybersecurity. Um, that's once again why I compared it to something like the CompTIA Plus, because it is very much based and fueled towards beginners rather than people who are already coming into this with some sort of knowledge. That being said, I don't necessarily think that this cert is like not worth your time or whatever if you've already had some experience with cyber or with IT. Any of the certs from ISC Square look great on a resume, and I mean, to be able to pair this with something like the A+, I could easily see somebody, even especially just looking at some of the different jobs out there right now, uh, meeting requirements for like a more basic position in IT help desk or something like that. If I had to compare this to anything, I would say it probably falls closest to the Security Plus. That being said, I think the Security Plus definitely gets into the more finite details, whereas this is definitely more generalized, foundational. And they both touch on the foundational stuff quite a bit. Um, I'd say this is comparable to like maybe 50 to 70% of what you'll find on the Security Plus, but that Security Plus is going to have just a little bit more depth to it and touch in a few areas that this won't. Um, that being said, uh, I think they're both great certs. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't get both, especially considering that the CC is free. The online training is completely self-paced and is completely free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, I think taking the examination, there is an exam fee of like $50 um, or else maybe that's like the ISC membership fee. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so this should not cost you anything to get started with. Um, if you just want to look into what cyber kind of is about and you don't even care about getting the cert, then by all means, just take the self course or the uh, self paced training. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? It's free. Along with getting the certification though, you also get uh, membership into the ISC community. Um, I forget what exactly the title is called. I guess it'd be like ISC associate or something like that. Um, but you will get access to ISC's vast network of different communities and lectures and events and stuff that they do. Um, if you're anybody working in IT or cyber in general, um, I don't care what you do, having the connection to ISC is just great in general, um, considering they have so many different certs under their belt and they offer so many different resources. Um, just networking wise, it's really nice to have one of their certs and be able to compare that with other people in the industry. Touching a bit on like the quality of life in terms of the training that you have to do for this cert, um, there is a lot of we'll say like kind of these instructional, very much like noob novice videos that you have to watch, right? It's like people in a coffee shop and they're, you know, coming up with these fictional situations in which they can apply like different terminology and aspects of cybersecurity into the daily routine of running the coffee shop or whatnot, you know, stuff like that. In It's parts like that where you can definitely tell that it is 
facing towards beginners, uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Um, if you're somebody who already has experience with this cert, I mean, you could literally knock out the self-paced training in a week. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure if you have to finish it. If, if you just wanted to take this exam and say you've already finished like the A plus and the security plus, especially, I mean, you could probably pass it without even having to do the self-paced training. That being said, I do recommend it. I don't see why you wouldn't just go through it. Um, the exam, obviously I can't talk too much about it, but I didn't personally find it to be all that difficult, uh, especially if you just go through the self-paced material, it's essentially gonna hand you I mean, everything you need to know for the exam. Uh, it's also got a really great index at the end of each uh, block of coursework where it's gonna list out all the major topics it talked about and all the definitions, which makes taking notes for it to be able to review and study like really easy, which I especially appreciated. Thank you, ISC. But yeah, so if you're somebody coming into this with prior experience, the self-paced training can be kind of grueling just to sit through those, you know, very like novice-esque videos. Um, if you're somebody with prior experience, a lot of this is going to touch on stuff that you're probably already aware of and that's okay though. You know, there's no reason not to have that reminder, um, especially because you want to make sure there's nothing that another cert or another class that you've taken doesn't cover that might actually be included in this. You know, it's hard to tell, you know, there is a lot of overlap with things like the security plus, but there is also some of its own material mixed in there. Stuff that ISC has always put more emphasis on than CompTIA. Um, so if you're interested, Go check it out online. All of the kind of topics that it includes, along with a lot of other general information, are going to be available on ISC's website. You can just Google ISC CC or else ISC Certified in Cybersecurity, and I'm sure you'll find it pretty easy. Um, 50 bucks to take the exam, free self-paced training. I don't see why you wouldn't. You know what I mean? Not to mention if you're trying to get into a school like WGU, you know, being able to do the uh, CC cert and bring that into the um, cybersecurity and information assurance bachelor's program, you're actually going to knock out like a credit or two um, for some of their classes with that cert. So it, it's also helpful in ways like that. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, in my opinion, I think that this is also just the easiest first cert in cyber to do. Um, you're going to be able to knock this out a lot faster, I think, than you would the security plus. It's also infinitely cheaper. I mean, it's like 50 bucks to take the exam. I don't see why that's a loss in anybody's book, especially when you're paying hundreds of dollars to take the security plus exam. So anyways, yep, those are just a few of the reasons that I feel like it's probably one of the better certs out there for beginners right now, if not the best, specifically in the context of cybersecurity. Um, pairing this with the CompTIA plus, you could probably even get some entry level positions in kind of an IT help desk or something of that sort. So yeah, I mean, there's no losses here. Uh, I only see ups and uh, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. Bye guys.